Again, thank you for this opportunity. I appreciate your time. Where does the phrase, grab your gators, come from? Piece of cake. Uh, uh, when you have little or no options in this life on any given topic, uh, your best friend will tell you, uh, well, bend over and grab your ankles. And I thought that was a little harsh, and so I came up with grab your gators, and I thought it fit. Uh, tell me a little bit about the Reardons. The Reardons, they're my, uh, uh, my favorite cartoon, three-generation family I created just so we could get their opinion about where this country's headed. Okay, what made you choose Divide Colorado to do the unveiling? I have uh, approximately 211 sayings. Uh, one of them uh, I really, really like a lot. It says, uh, America open wide, Obama's here to divide, hence divide Colorado. And how do you feel the media has portrayed you? Oh, very, quite well. I uh, did raise a few eyebrows, though, but overall it's been fun. And where can people learn more about your project, uh, perhaps online? GotcheGators.com. Piece of cake. Everything you need is right there. Tell me some things Obama has done wrong, or perhaps how is he a socialist? What he's done wrong is everything in my mind, but in his mind, he's done everything right. Seventy percent of the general public does not agree with his policies at all, and yet he forges ahead. He's got an agenda, and he wants to control every aspect of our lives. And uh, I'm just kind of doing my little part to say no. And how do you think we can stop it? Educate the general public. It's all about the power of the vote conservatism, personal responsibility. Okay, and if any, who are some local leaders who play into Obama's hand? Or anybody that's for big government, period. Conservatism wants limited government and uh, personal freedoms and, li and liberty. And who should people avoid? Anybody for large government, because they don't realize it just because they, have, they think they have all their personal freedoms and liberty at their, at their um, grasp or in their possession now. Does not mean it's not being taken away? Uh, the only reason America is starting to wake up now and they're so upset is because of all the, um, uh, his policies are taking effect and hitting close to home. Uh, what will happen here in the U.S. if we don't get rid of the socialists? That's kind of a long list. Uh, overall, um, his, his overall agenda is just to control the general public, uh, control every aspect of your life, grow government wherever they can, and limit our personal freedoms and liberties at every chance. How do you think we can stop it? Well, we have to educate the general public. We have to educate them on conservatism, personal responsibility, and just make sure that uh, it all gets down to the power of the vote, make sure they understand that uh, they have to get off the couch and, and uh, make a difference. Are there any local leaders who you feel play into Obama's hand? Anybody that is not for conservatism, especially at this point in the direction that this country is going in now. Uh, what do you think will happen if we don't get rid of socialists? Um, this position will be permanent. <laughs> do I make myself clear? Okay, so we all know immigration is illegal. Yes. For example, if you cross the North Korean border illegally, you get 12 years hard labor. Correct. If you cross the Iranian border illegally, you are detained indefinitely. That is also correct. If you cross the Afghan border illegally, you get shot. Great. Exactly. So, what is the state of immigration in the U.S., and what happens here? You get a driver's license, a social security card, free education, free health care. You get a Chevy and a free lunch. And I think you get um, a coupon for uh, free rent for a year. What do you think about the tax situation in America? <laughs> too damn high. Uh, it's just too much. You know, if the, if the government would just get out of our way and uh, let the private sector do what it does best, and that's create the wealth in this country, the government could live on a lot less, but they never do. Okay, and how about health care? 
we're in trouble. They just took over one sixth of the American economy. And the only way to fix that is we have to repeal it. Yes, we need to work on our existing system, but this is the way to go. Uh, big government's a monopoly. And uh, when you have no com uh, competition, all you can do, you're not going to get good at anything if you have no competition. Okay, we'll watch for you in Divide, Colorado. Oh, boy. Okay.